focused on the race between vaccines and variants. Connecticut's weekly COVID positivity rate creeping up as variants of the virus continue to spread. As of yesterday, five variants of concern have been detected in 77 Connecticut towns. The more contagious B117 strain, first seen in the UK, now accounting for more than 300 cases in the state. Be careful um, like you were before and uh, especially good reason to get the vaccine. Jeremy Camille is a virologist at LSU Shreveport who studies the variants. He says the more COVID cases in the community, the better the chance that current variants will spread and new ones pop up. That's a lot of space for the virus to maneuver in because every time it replicates, um, it's, it makes mistakes. And so every once in a while, one of those mistakes will win the lottery and make a new variant. And we don't want to see new variants. More than one million people in Connecticut have already received one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. And now Hartford HealthCare is rolling out a new program to help vulnerable patients who are still in the hospital get the shot. They are targeting patients who are about to be discharged to a nursing home type facility. Having somebody from acute facility leaving and going there who's unvaccinated is a significant risk for that individuals and maybe for others as well. Starting next week, the program will expand to all of Hartford HealthCare's hospitals, including Bacchus here in Norwich. Camille says the current vaccines can handle the UK variant and offer some level of protection against other variants. The general like average person should just be very comforted that the vaccines are so effective at preventing severe illness. Siobhan McGurl, NBC Connecticut News. And more vaccines will be available as early as next week. Johnson & Johnson set to deliver 11 million doses of their single-shot vaccine to the United States. So far, the U.S. has received 4 million doses from the company since the shot was approved. The Biden administration has set a goal of administering 200 million shots within the president's first 100 days 